At Twin Cities Orthopedics, we believe less pain is your gain. So we stay in the fight with you. This is your victory, and you've earned it. Welcome to Breakaway, presented by Twin Cities Orthopedics with Wes Walls. I'm Audra Martin. The Wild needed at least one point tonight to stay yep. alive in the race for a home ice advantage. Well, why just settle for one point when you can get two? It did take overtime to get it done, but they take down the Flames three to two in overtime. A huge win for this team. Yeah, the atmosphere in this building was unbelievable here tonight. A huge two points for the Minnesota Wild, giving themselves a chance if they can get at least one tomorrow night against the Colorado Avalanche. They'll secure that home ice advantage against the St. Louis Blues. I thought the Minnesota Wild tonight played exactly the way they needed to play in the defensive zone. And this is the overtime goal, a tic-tac-toe play. Again, cross screen, and this one just happened to hit Markstrom in the head, and Kirill Kaprizov is the hero here tonight. But uh, getting back to the overall game, I thought the Wild defensively held. Look at this. Eight chances for the Calgary Flames right there. This is one of the top offensive teams in the National Hockey League. Wild did a great job defensively uh, locking it down. And that was their 30th home win of the season. That is a new franchise record for the Minnesota Wild. The game winner from Kirill Kaprizov came on the power play. Here's what Dean Evison had to say how it all unfolded in the extra frame. Obviously, they're all pretty gifted, and what, what we just watched is uh, Eki going, we call it cross screen, um, so the goalie didn't pick it up till, um, you know, it was three quarters of the way over to uh, Carell and actually hit him in the head. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it was great. Face off, Eki wins a big face off at the end to, uh, to keep us there. So, it, uh, big goal for us, good PP, good PK, so all around good. Tomorrow night, it is the final game of the regular season. It's a battle against the first place, the Colorado Avalanche. Join us for Wild Live at 6.30 one last time before we head into round one against the St. Louis Blues. For Wes Walls, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on Breakaway, presented by Twin Cities Orthopedics.